Now, from one kind of recycling to another, over recent years, the life-saving efforts of the Glasgow Humane Society have been well documented in the press and on our screens, following the really remarkable work done by riverman George Parsonage on the Clyde. As well as all that, he can often be found hauling rubbish out of the river in an effort to keep the water free from debris. And as a former art student, George has found a rather unique way of recycling the junk that he recovers. And it's all for a very good cause. We sent the Air's camera along to find out more. My mum and dad used to say when I was very young that what I used to love to do was to dismantle my toys and rebuild them into different shapes and I suppose looking back that was the first time you know I thought of doing anything towards three-dimensional artwork. When I left school I went straight into the Glasgow School of Art. I loved the Macintosh building and the sculpture course was right up my street. One day I noticed that the precursor of the present Macmillan Cancer were having an exhibition in the Macmillan Gallery, I think it was 73 or 74, and uh, I thought, I'm going to exhibit in that. This is a dragon boat. I used to do a lot of dragon boat racing. I did the steering mostly of the of the boats, and I absolutely loved dragon boat racing. My wife plays the bassoon, and this here is for cleaning. And one day, she got a new one, and she threw the old one at me, and she said, Betty, can you make a bit of sculpture out of that? So I made this little mouse. You can spend months working on a piece of sculpture, and you're not getting anywhere with it. And you suddenly say, just a minute, that would be better getting used than something else. And you just break it all up and use that one piece to start again. When I was away in my scholarship in Italy, once the gondoliers realised that I knew what I was doing, they actually allowed me to go out and roll gondolas. And it was quite, it was quite nice. Not many folk can say they've actually been out and rode a gondola. Sometimes the simplest ideas can give you a lot of pleasure. All these boats that I get involved in. I went down to York and we used to take part in the Jorvik uh, Viking boat racing every year. As a bit of sculpture, it brings back a lot of memories to me. My most famous one was sculpture of Archbishop Winning and one of these chains held the crucifix in place. And the beauty about these chains is they are all genuine chains off of Glasgow toilets. The old days, there it is. That hooked on up the top, handle went on the other end, and you flushed it. It's good to move around all the time and find your scrap in different places, and an awful lot of it does come out the river. And I mean, every, every nail that's used in the boat building or into the making the pontoons or anything, if a nail bends, it gets thrown into a bin outside and it's left to rust away, and that'll get used for hair or something for the sculpture. You try to utilise it, everything. I'll keep doing it. As long as I can, I'll keep doing sculpture, yeah. It's absolutely... I just, I just love junk sculpture. Who would have thought you could find all that in the River Clyde? No, just shopping trolleys, eh? No, we work right beside it. Maybe me and you should go out tomorrow. Lunchtime, we'll go out and do that, see what we can make. <laughs> He's an amazing bloke, though, isn't he? You yep. can see more of George's sculpture at the Macmillan Cancer Support Show, which runs until the end of this week in, in Shinnan in Renfrewshire. Full details of that are on the website, stv.tv forward slash the hour.